Today we were doing some grooming training with our male red collared brown lemur, John. We lost our female red collared brown in January this year. Normally when that happens, the first thing you try to do is find another mate for your lone male. Unfortunately for John, this time around, red collared browns are so rare in professional institutions, there's not very many of them. There are no other ones available to come keep him company right now. He's not able to reach and groom himself and he doesn't have a mate in there with him to groom him. They don't socialize the same way you and I do, but they have those things where they'll greet each other, they groom each other, they rely on each other to kind of keep, keep them safe. Socializing is super important for them. It's, you know, the grooming is more social thing than actually being groomed. It's more of a social mental stimulation thing for them. So it's actually incredibly important. He's not technically alone. It is good that he is with at least another group of lemurs. They're still not gonna interact with each other as they would if they were the same species and especially like a tight knit group. So while he is, you know, around other lemurs and that may provide some comfort, he doesn't ball with them. They don't groom each other. They're, they'll go next to each other, but they don't really interact with each other. And so he's not really getting that social interaction that we would hope for. It's just very sad to see one alone, but I think we're doing everything we can. We knew we had to go into overdrive with training and enrichment to make sure we could make him as comfortable, mentally stimulated, and well taken care of as, as we could. Relationship building is a huge part of keeper animal relationships. And a big part of that is respecting that they're a wild animal. We get the question all the time, oh, they're so cute, do you pet them, do you hold them? And a big part of our trust with them is respecting that boundary. Normally when you're training, you're in charge of training a behavior and you don't pass it off to anyone else until it's complete. Or you know, you are in charge of those steps, but we really wanted this to be, we want John to trust every single person who works up here. So this has been the most collaborative teamwork, such communication. We started doing three to four sessions a day with him and then we would talk and be like, what went well, what didn't go well, what do we think we could improve on after every single session? This has been a real undertaking on our part and I'm just really proud of the team up here. I think we did a great job. job. The first time we introduced the brush to him, we were only able to touch it to him and he would kind of back up. We still had to build up that trust even more. And again, part of the trust is if he tells us he doesn't feel like having it done today, then, then we don't do it. What? Uh-huh. Especially since he doesn't have a mate right now, we are his social interaction. Oh, he likes that part. Yeah. Yeah. If you could see the happy dances we do when we have a successful training session back here and the way we just like look at each other and are like, we did it. He let us groom him. Like we're, we're making progress. Like it's so exciting but we don't want him to bond to humans either because the best thing for him is being with other lemurs. Eventually, we hope we will get a mate for him again, but it could be another year. And so we have to manage that as respectfully to them as a species and him as an individual, make sure he's well taken care of, but that we're not crossing any boundaries. It's great to see him doing as well as he is with his training and see him take to it so well. They're a very, very timid species and they've challenged us really hard since they've been here. And so to see him take to it is one, I think a testament to maybe how he is feeling a little more isolated and craving that social structure or that mental stimulation, but also is a testament to how much work we're putting into it.